Hello, my name's Hannah and I am a therapeutic radiographer. I am somebody you would come across if you required gamma knife treatment. The reason I chose to specialise in gamma knife is because it's important to me that you receive really good care. I want to make sure that throughout your day, your care is as good as it would be. If it was one of my relatives, I would want to make sure that they were in good hands and that's what I want to do for you. Just please ask me anything that you like. I am here to support you and make sure that you're okay. When you come for your treatment with me, just be nice and comfortable. Just make sure that there isn't any metal attached to what you're wearing. We may just ask you to take it off if there is. If you wear a headscarf and you come for your treatment, we will have to take it off when you have your frame fitted as we need access to your head. However, we can place it back onto your head once you've had your frame fitted. The day before you come for treatment with us, make sure you eat, drink as you normally would, take your medication as you normally would. You don't need to fast for your treatment of gamma knife. It is normal for you to feel nervous when you come for your treatment, but no question is a silly question, so please ask us as we go. It's important that you understand what's happening. It's your head and we are very transparent with what's going on. Some of the more frequent ones I have been asked in the past is if I can go around people after I've had my treatment. Yes, you will not hold any radiation inside your body, so you are safe to go around anybody that you want to go around. You may feel quite tender after treatment and tired. This is also very normal. Please ask me anything, anything that's on your mind. Nothing is silly. It's important that you're okay. As you'll be nervous, you probably won't remember everything that we say to you. Fortunately for you, we're all like parrots, so you will hear it more than once. You'll have an MRI before you have your treatment because we'll use that scan to plan your treatment. We do want it to be as accurate as possible. So an MRI is a device that is like a big donut. You will only go through until chest height. The MRI gives us clear images of the soft tissue inside of your head just so that we can see what's going on in there and we can see if anything has changed from your previous MRI scan. Once you've completed your MRI, you will return to your day case room. Then you might be a bit of a wait, which is why we tell you to bring some entertainment with you. We will then have your scan looked through by the radiologist, the physicist and the consultant. When we look through that scan, it can take a little bit of time, so maybe an hour or two, the least, okay? So as soon as that's done, we will communicate with you how long everything's going to be and what's going on inside of your head. It's important you understand what we know. Once the consultant's been, to, been through to speak to you regarding your MRI results, we will then shortly bring you through to have your treatment. We'll take you to the bathroom before you have your treatment, as sometimes your treatment may be an hour or two at the least. We don't want you to be uncomfortable. Once you've been to the bathroom, we'll explain everything to expect in the treatment room, such as what you will hear, see and feel. We'll explain to you if you need us at any point, you can just raise your hand or speak to us. And we can also put you some music on, a podcast or whatever you would like to listen to. Your treatment time will vary. Some people have treatment for just 10 minutes and some people have it for several hours. It depends on what the consultant communicates with you. You will be alone in the treatment room. However, we are just a wall away from you. You do have a built-in intercom device at the side of your ear. So if at any point you need us, you just speak and we can hear you, no problem. Or if you don't want to talk to us, just give us a wave and we'll be there. If you need a break, you will need some water, you need the toilet, it isn't a problem at all. You just let us know and then we can continue from where we left off, no problem. You won't feel anything when you have treatment. The bed just may move into slightly different positions, which is just millimeter movement. And that'll just be a little bit of a noise and it's not that exciting. You don't go very far. <laughs> you can have your eyes open. If you look down in the machine, you can see directly out of, of where you are. The gamma knife is a little bit different to a normal scan. It isn't a donut. It's like a big bucket turned on its side. So it's a bit larger as well. So you're not going to be claustrophobic. If you look down, you can see all around you. If you want to close your eyes, you can do that as well. Whatever you're more comfortable with. Once your treatment stops at 30 seconds left, you will hear a ding dong noise. It sounds a little bit like an announcement in a supermarket. Once you've heard that, the bed will eject you out and the doors will close behind you. We will not be in the room with you until about 30 seconds after that. It will be myself getting you off the bed. Once we've removed your frame, we'll take you back to your day case room. We tend to keep you here for about 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure that you're okay. We also like you to have something to eat. We know that the emotions have been high through the day and it can be quite a long day. So it's important to us that you leave comfortable. 